What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Don Dozo and Tatsugiri team that also features Revival Blessing Palma and Life Orb Golden Go that was actually used to get second place runner up at San Diego Regionals. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as kind of creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. But before we get started here, gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator and the person who used this to get second place at that regional tournament, Chubba VGC. Huge shout out to you. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to all of his social medias. Definitely go check him out and give him a little bit of a congratulations on getting second place at this tournament. But we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Meet Alice Garada. It has Protean as its ability and a Choice Band as its item. Flower Trick, Knock Off, U-Turn, and Sucker Punch. This Pokemon hits like an absolute truck. Second Pokemon is going to be Don Dozo, and Don Dozo was actually seen all around this tournament. The Pokemon is just so strong, especially paired up with the Tatsugiri. This one has Unaware and the Chesto Berry as its item and ability. Wave Crash, Order Up, Earthquake, and Rest for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be Palmot over here, and I absolutely love Palmot in the competitive scene. It's got Natural Cure as its ability, Focus Ash as its item, Double Shock, Close Combat, Revival Blessing, and Fake Out. Like I said, I love this Pokemon so much, it's always a good time whenever I use it. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Arcanine. Arcanine is just all around solid for any team. This one has Intimidate alongside with the Assault Vest and it's Rock and Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Snarl, and Play Rough, which turns to Stab if we Terrasilize, considering Arcanine's terror type is Fairy. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Golden Go. Golden Go is arguably the best Pokemon in ranked at the moment. It's just super strong all around and it hits really, really hard with an amazing typing. It is good as Gold as its ability, the Life Orb as its item, and then it's got Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Tatsugiri. Can't really have a Don Dozo team without Tatsugiri. This one's Rockin' Commander and the Choice Scarf as its item. Then it's a pretty normal move set with Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, Soak, and Icy Wind. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this second place team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, going up against a Meowth and Annihilate team that also features Murkrow, Sylveon, Armourouge, and Indeedee. So I can definitely see him procking like weak armor slash weakness policy on the Armourouge, or even pop and trick room. I feel like it could definitely go either way. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I mean, I could go Palmot here just for a simple fake out turn, but if I do go Palmot, my problem would be them going into that psychic terrain and stopping my fake out, right? It could definitely be an option. So who should I go into here? Or how should I go into this? Huh. I still like Palmar regardless. I really do still like Palmar. I do have Sucker Punch actually. Which again, will not work in that terrain. But who do I want to go here? What does Jeans want to do here? Hmm. The expanding forces are not looking good. I could just go into you. And then roll out into... Maybe go into like a... You maybe? Maybe a little Golden Go action? I don't really mind Golden Go too much. I just feel like we have so many problems with that Indeedee and Armor Rouge lead. So we're going to hope that it doesn't come out here. So I'm going to go Palmut. I am going to go... Bingo? Yeah, let's go Golden Go. Miascarada, and then Arcanine. We're gonna we're just going to lead the Don, the Don Dozo and Tasugiri combo for the back end. This, this battle seems like it could definitely be tough for us. So hopefully we can uh, get started here with a nice big fat W. I could have led Don, Don Dozo, but again, I don't think that would have been too good. Again, I just feel like if he does lead in DD and Armourouge, we are in some deep troubles. Deep, deep trouble. I mean, Miascarada still isn't bad. I kind of like that. But let's see. It's not going to be that. So, okay. I, I was worrying for nothing. I was worrying for nothing. We're going to start off with a nice, lovely little Palmot. Get a little bit of a... Get a little bit of my boy action in here. My Golden Go. And I think I'm just going to fake out. And I could go for a Nasty Pot, but my problem with going for a Nasty Pot is... Uh, is he what's it called he's probably just gonna set up like a, a tailwind or something or he could just haze it out then i'm gonna fake out the Sylveon and go to shadow ball so let's fake it out make it flinch and tailwind's gonna poke out here and then we can just deal with this stuff later so maybe i'll thrasize next turn and wow i could have legit just popped to make it rain i was just thinking that this thing was going to thrasize but still shadow ball should do a nice chunk of damage here and maybe get the drop we don't get the drop it kind of hurts wow yeah we could just make it rained and pretty much just dumped on that so from here, I'm just going to go for double shock, finish that off, and I think I'm just going to protect this thing, right? Might be my best bet, because I can definitely see this Sylveon either Terrasilizing or swapping out. Something along those lines. 
So we'll let it make the play. We'll have my uh, focus dash palm out ready to go. And we'll see how this one's going to play out here. I'm super surprised that Sylveon's just chilling here. I really am. I really am just like super surprised that this thing's just chilling. Double shock. Oh, wow. We outspeed that. That's really good to know. We outspeed the Sylveon. Double shock's going to hit right there. Let's the other one slide over if we pick up a KO. That'd be amazing. It does not. It does not. And I used up all of my electricity. You can go for a hyper voice. Wow, I could have took this thing out like 10 years ago. 10 years ago. My sash probably popping here. Yep. And we can go from there. So I know my palm I outspeeds that Sylveon. Even in Tailwind, which is big. But I wonder what move it's going to go for. Or I wonder what Pokemon they're going to send out next. But wow, that, this is super surprising. Like, we're just seeing the Sylveon just stay in here with Golden Go chilling. I'm, I'm, a, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. No terrestrialization, nothing. I could have dumped on it with Make It Rain Turn 1. But Miyazaki Rider is going to pop out here. And I can definitely see a Sucker Punch coming out. And I'm not Electric type anymore, am I? I used up all my electricity, didn't I? If this move is just, yeah, I will no longer be Electric type. But I still feel as this move can do a decent amount of damage. And I'm thinking of just terrestrialize and straighten the steel and pop it and make it rain. That's exactly what I'm going to do. For two reasons and two reasons only. First reason is going to be in case this thing's going for a sucker punch, we can eat it up. And now this thing terrestrializes? What is going on? What is going on here? This match is an absolute mess. It's a mess. And the second reason was we can eat up the uh the hyper voice a little bit better. But wow, like what is going on? <laughs> this is just unreal. This is unreal. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. We waste out the Tailwind turns pretty good. We have the Murkrow dead. And he's going to go for a Flower Trick. He's going into a Flower Trick and do it. Into my Palma? You're attacking my Palma? Okay. You just run into my Palma. I don't mind that. I, I would think he would have went after my Golden Go. Maybe Golden Go can outspeed. That thing goes for a straight Terror Blast. And you should be able to eat up, eat up this Terror Blast. You should be able to eat up this Terror Blast. Thank you. You do eat up that Terror Blast right here. Make it rain. It comes out here. Do some nice damage on both sides. Probably not KO in the Sylveon. It does not, but it brings down the Miyas Kravata to its focus dash. That's a solid little turn from us. A solid, solid little turn from us. My special attack is down. I lose some life orb health. And I could get out Arcanine from here. I do have E speed with Arcanine. Not bad, Arcanine. Or I could go into you. I do have Suck Punch and all that, but I'd rather save my choice band for the back end. So I'm just gonna go straight into Arcanine here. Uh and then do I E speed the Sylveon down? Or do I e-speed the Miascarada? I think like we have to e-speed the Miyask or the Sylveon, right? But Sylveon might be able to eat it up. So I'm not really too worried about the Miascarada. I'm just not. So I'm just going to go for another Make It Rain. I'm going to go into an e-speed here. We'll see how this one plays out here. Actually, I probably should have just protected my Pokemon. Just kind of counter up onto the Tailwind waste out some more turns. But I feel like we're, th we're chilling this match, right? I feel like we're doing pretty good. I feel like we're fine. I feel like we're fine. Palmat did some work early on here. Sylveon's been throwing me off all the game by not terrestrializing or swapping out. Because again, like, I wish I would've just popped it, make it rain turn one. Get rid of it. Because Sylveon is really strong. It really is. But he's gonna end up withdrawing it. Okay. He's gonna save it for later. I have me ask for that. Again, I'm not worried. I'm not worried too much. And he's gonna go into Annihilate. That might've been a really smart play by him. Are you going after my Golden Go? Low kick? Yeah, you're going to take out my gold to go. It's a pretty smart swap from him. I mean, I just got to E-speed that uh, Miyashirata side. And then I could choice into a Sucker Punch if I want to, right? Right, do I choice to a Sucker Punch? What's my player? Or I could just choice. I think Flower Trick would be the best bet. Sucker Punch is nice. Flower Trick's also nice. I might double down in this slot, right? I'm going to double down into the, uh, that slot. I really want to get rid of this Pokemon. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And Miyashirata might even protect this turn. So I'm doubling down into Annihilate. I got to get rid of this Pokemon. We want to we wanna win this battle. So I'm just going to hope Miyashirata can just protect. Let's see. He withdraws Miyashirata. That's perfect. That's fine. So he's going to go into Sylveon. Thinking that I'm E-speeding. When I'm not, I'm legit just going straight after that Annihilate. Because again, I can just E-speed the rest of the Pokemon. And he's going to gambit me. That's fine. That, that that won me the game. <laughs> that just won me the game. 
Okay, so he ends up gambiting me. My flower trick's gonna slide over. It's gonna take out this Sylveon. I still have Focus Ash. Actually, I don't have Focus Ash. I have Choice Band, but... Can he kill me? I'm trying to think. Can this Miascarada kill me? A U-turn might be able to kill me. If it is using U-turn, but I don't see it having U-turn. A lot of them are... A lot of them with Focus Ash are Sucker Punch, Flower Trick, and Knock Off, and then Protect. Kind of scaring me. Kind of scared me. But hopefully I just straight about speed, right? Hopefully I just straight about speed. Let me see, let me see my stats. Let me see my stats. The Miyazaki are already full blown on attack. Yeah, you're maxed out. Are you jolly or something too? You're timid. Yeah, it's even better. That boosts his speed. Lovely little timid Pokemon here. Let's rip it. Let's rip it. I'm all about it. Actually, it is jolly. It's not timid. It was just a... Uh, a little bit of nature mint action. But yeah, I'm choosing the fire trick, and I should outspeed or have a speed tie here. Yep, I just straight up outspeed. That's GG's. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Match number one in the bag. Starting off today's video strong. We're sitting at 1-0. Second battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a top-tier team right here. They're rocking Murkrow. They got the Annihilate and Mousehole combo. And then they got Garchomp, Breloom, and Golnigo. I feel like Dodonzo and uh, Tasuguri is definitely going to be solid for us. So I definitely want to bring them in somewhere. But definitely not as a lead. I could lead it, but usually Murkrow, or they're going to end up leading Murkrow. So I think Palmont's going to be a solid lead for us all around. I do have to watch out for that Annihilate. I feel like that Annihilate could definitely be a problem on our hands. So I want to go Palmont. Do I want to go meet Ascarado, or do I want to go in with Golden Go? I think both of them are very, very solid options. Very solid options. Which one do I want to do? I think me Ascarado could be a little bit better, because I can just choice and change my... Uh, Typing, which I think I'm going to do. Or not choice. I can uh, Protean switch. And then go D Dondozo and Tatsugiri. I'm liking that a lot. I definitely am liking that. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves someone here in match number two. But first battle was pretty solid. We got Palmot out there. Palmot doing some work. I think I showcased Palmot before, but I really only had him more so for like support. He was kind of just there for revival blessing. Whereas this one's kind of there for some big time attacks. And then if it can get off of revival blessing, it's there to do that too. Because Double Shock and Close Combat are both base 120 moves. And Palmont can hit hard. I really like Palmont. I really do like Palmont. One of my favorite Series 9 Pokemon. Well, not Series 9. Generation 9 Pokemon. I just think it's a cool Pokemon all around. But let's see where opponent leads. It could definitely be the Mousehold. It could definitely be the Annihilate. Either or. Or it could be both. We'll see. It's going to be both. Most of the time, everybody leads both. So from here, I'm thinking of just going into a straight Flower Trick and a Close Combat, right? Or I could fake out. I could fake out and just go straight into a flyer trick, or I could you turn out. Mm, I don't really want to U-turn out. I'd rather just choice to a flyer trick and get off as much damage as possible. That's gonna be my play. Might even double protect this turn, which would be smart, but I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Oh yeah, yo, Palmont's where it's at. Look at my dude just chilling there. If he goes to a regular turn, I'm kinda cool with that. Because then Miyaska Rada can outspeed both of these guys. And I can switch my typing before a fighting move does come in here. So he ends up protecting the mouse hold. That's fine. I was really just going for a fake out onto that. And an going to take some damage. Unless it's choice scarf and he's just going for a gambit. We'll see. It's not choice. It is not choice. My Miyazaki Rada outspeeds. And we get off some big time damage on this thing. And more importantly, change our typing. So now we're straight grass. We're not going to take too much damage or die to that drain punch right there. And that's, a, that's not a bad turn. That's not a bad turn. So obviously the follow me can come out here. I'm thinking of U-turn. I can't U-turn out. I'm flyer tricked in. I really want to go into a... Uh, I might swap this Palmot. I could swap Palmot into Tatsu. But Palmot could be really good here. Especially because I have my Focus Ash. I think I'm just dropping that thing. And then go into a flyer trick into this again. We'll see what he wants to do because we have speed up against both these Pokemon. So I don't know if he wants to go into a follow me or if he kind of just wants to chill here. So he's going to end up protecting it. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine. Because if this thing's not Sash, it's dead, right? Which a lot of them are Sash, especially with Annihilate, these mouse holds. We'll see. No, you're going to pop bomb and outspeed my Palma? How dare you? Come on, stop hitting. Give me some luck. Give me some RNG. 
No shot, right? Yeah, we're dead. Wow. Later, Palmot. Later, Palmot. So Palmot goes out. Uh, what should I do here? What should I do here? I'm thinking of just going into Tatsu. I'm going to probably have to do Donzo sweep this battle. I'm thinking of going into Tatsu here. And maybe just soaking somebody, but I really don't want choice in the soak. I'm just going to do Donzo. Hmm. I could swap if I want to. Oh, what do I want to do here? Swap and maybe just start popping EQs. That gives a chance me ask around uh the reset his choice band. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna go with that the Donzo. He probably has a counter in the back end for it, which could be annoying. We'll see what he wants to do. There you go for EQs. Hit the Rasslies. Go straight up into order ups. I definitely want to swap, right? You know, screw it. We're going to go for EQs. And I'm just going to swap into Tatsu Gear. We're going to hope he's not swapping into, like, say, Murkrow. That'd be a problem. That'd be a problem. Because then he dodges the EQ, and then on top of that, he can just haze next turn. Wow, I'm super upset that uh, that uh, mouse hold was able to ask me my palm out. Because if not, I was hitting that thing hard with a close combat. And that's really all I wanted left with my uh, palm out was to get off a close combat or get off some damage on that turn. I'm going to swap to Miyas Ramada. Getting into Tatsu. Loving it. Right off the rip. And we rolling. And we rolling. we we'll hop in. Commander. Hopefully one of his Pokemon are attacking that slot. Just so we can dodge a turn and kind of get after it that way. But we'll see. But all my stats go up plus two. Don Dozo is an absolute beast. And we'll see what they, they want to do. He's going to end up with all. He's reading me hard. This is Murkrow, right? It's got to be Murkrow. This Murk. This is this definitely Murk. That's going to be Breloom. Okay, so Breloom's here. Kind of scary. Pop Bomb's coming out here. Into the Tatsugiri slot. Awesome. Dope. EQ's flying. I'm surprised that Mousehold outspeeds me. It's kind of whack. We do some nice damage to it. And from here, I feel like we just... Mm, he's probably protecting the, what's it called? The Breloom, right? He's got to protect the Breloom. So I'm just going to go for an order up into it. Or not the Breloom. He's got to protect the Mousehold. Because Breloom's looking to just spore me and put me to sleep, right? But I do have the Chester Berry. I do have the Chester Berry, which is huge. <laughs> but he doesn't know. He does not know I have Chester Berry. He ends up withdrawing and... Who are going into here? This Merc? This got to be Murkrow. It's his final Pokemon. It's got to be Murkrow. Yeah, this one's Murkrow. Follow me coming out here. Okay, so we take out you. He's going to haze me next turn. The order up coming out here. I'm going to get a nice little stat boost, but it's really going to do nothing. And he's going to do nothing. Smart little play by him. He still has Annihilate. I still have... What's it called, too? I still have my boy, though. I mean, Oscar Rod in the back end. This battle is going to be good. It's going to be a close battle. So he's going to go in the Breloom. I think he might haze and spore me. Or he might just bullet see me. I'm going to Thrasilize, though. I'm going to tear it in a dragon here. Because we know the grass move is coming in here. It's either grass move or spore. And if he spores, I have chest berry. If he goes to grass move, I am now dragon type. And then I can hit this thing pretty hard with an order up. And on top of that, get a speed boost. So obviously, he's going to take all my stats here, right? He's haze, 100%. Prankster haze move. There's no denying it. There's no denying it. A little bit of prankster haze action. There's the haze. Picking off my stats. And I'm Thrasilizing. What are you going for? Spore or Bolt Seed? There's a Spore. It's okay. We have Chesto Westo Berry. The lovely little Chesto Berry. Now, now the real question is, can we KO this Breloom with this uh, order up here? No stat boost, but it is stab with the Thrasilization. Let's get it. KO this thing. Take it out, please. Oh, that's ugly. That's so ugly. We got a speed boost now. Speed boost isn't bad, but he's going to haze us again, correct? I think he's just going to do the same thing. He's just going to haze and, uh, haze and spore. Yep. Come on now. Don't, don't, don't be that dude. Don't be that guy. Just spore me. Is that your plays? Just spore, spore, spore. Haze, haze, haze. Kind of annoying, but I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. But yo, what a second match. We're having some good battles right now. We're doing good right now. So my Don Doe's is asleep, even though his eyes are wide awake. And I feel like I just have to keep uh, tackling onto this breathing slot, right? I'm just going to keep going after this Breloom slot. Good terrasization by us. I really do like that. And then we have the fastest Pokemon 
as of right now without Tailwind on the field. Miyasuka out in the back end. And Tatsu. Tatsu's going to be really fast, but let's go. With that, a true scarf. He's going to end up going into a bold seed. I don't, I don't mind that too much. Kind of soaking up the shots. Really, really bulky. And I think this thing might be loaded dice. It's hit me hard four times. Four times. Foul play's coming in hot. Doing some damage. Wow, that actually did a lot. And I am slumped. And he's probably just going to KO me next turn. And you'll leave me alone. Leave me alone. Spores. Wow, if I would have KO'd that Breloom, that could have been big. That could have been big, big. Now, that's what I was hoping. If I could just pick up that KO. Now my Dondozo probably dies out this turn, right? Unless Bolt he doesn't hit me for too many turns. I don't withdraw. Wow, that's a... Kind of a dumb turn. You could have just took out my Dondozo. Now my Dondozo has a chance to wake up. Which would be big, big. I'm gonna set up the... Wow, my Dondozo has a chance to wake up here. This could be huge for us. Wake up, Dondozo. Never mind. Smart play by him. I think he, he just wanted to go in that to get the... Uh, a, for these leftovers, and B, to start setting up his Pokemon. Wow, that hurts his soul. My Pokemon never wake up. They never wake up. We're just going to keep ripping order up, hoping that my Donzo's will wake up. But I could definitely see, like, Annihilate potentially, like, setting up a bulk up or something. Yeah. Hate this game. Don't like it. Do not like it. Do not like it. And there's the foul play. Should be able to eat that up. We do, which is nice. And can we wake up? We do. So we're able to wake up. We're going to do a little bit of damage to this thing. It is defensive bulked. And it's just going to start ripping in some of my Pokemon. Not bad damage, though. Not bad damage at all. I think it goes for another bulk up into a foul play, right? That would be the smart play. Another bulk up into the foul play. Or he can go into a foul play and then a hit onto my Tatsugiri. Oh, we're sitting in a tough spot. It's tough. Yeah, this is a nice long drawn out battle. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Hopefully you guys are definitely enjoying today's video. But yeah, that's the only thing that sucks about uh, Don Dozo. Is once it dies, Tatsugiri kind of just gets spit out. <laughs> and it can't really do anything that turn. We'll see. Here comes the Drain Punch. Okay, so he wastes that turn. He's going to Drain Punch. Thank God. I thought he was going to foul play and then uh, bulk up. Which probably would have been a smarter play. But down goes my Don Dozo. Tatsugiri is going to pop out. It will survive whatever Murkrow has to offer. And then I could just choice into a Sucker Punch here. Which would be my best bet, right? I think, it's, I think that's my play. Choice to that lovely little sucker punch. And choice to an icy one at the same time, too. Because we know Breloom's on a little bit of health. And then on top of that, we know Murkrow. It's going to be super effective onto it. I'm cool with choicing into this sucker punch here. The sucker punch is going to fly here. And then I'm just going to pop icy ones. Put an icy one action. But I think sucker punch has a nice chance of KOing, right? Even though he is bulked up, it is stab. We have Protean switching, but it's already fine. And then we get the choice ban on top of that. Let's see how this one goes. He ends up protecting us. Smart play. Might just foul play me here. Now, the real question is, can we eat up a foul play? <laughs> so nice protect from him. Does Tatsugiri outspeed? It does not. Can you eat this up? You can. So he knows we're going for Sucker Punches. Now, here's my thing. I might have to Sucker Punch the Murkrow. I'm choosing to do it now. Maybe going for another bulk up here, which would be a smart play. I feel like that is a smart play for him to just bulk up. Does Mercury go for a Tailwind? There's, hmm. I'm choosing a sucker punch. I feel like I have to go after this thing. I'm going into another sucker punch. I have to. I feel like it's my only option. Definitely is my only option. Are oh, they still have terrestrialization? Wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. This battle's been so long. Ends up terrestrializing and annihilate into straight fire type. Okay. Just so it takes less damage from Icy Wind. And Sucker Punch, it's bulking up. Yeah, it's GG's. Actually, wait a minute. No, it's not. Oh, wow. That's a, get a crit. Oh, wow. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Yo, Tatsu might be able to win this battle for us. Tatsu might be able to win this battle for us. He's going to be kind of close. He's going to quash me. It's a terrible quash. 
A terrible quash. I get off an ice room. Wow, that's a terrible quash. The terrible quash. Yo, we I think we have this battle now. <laughs> what a second match. Wow. We definitely got really lucky there with the RNG, but it happens to me all the time, so I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> a little bit of crit action on the sucker punch. He's forced to throw out Breloom. Breloom will die to an icy win, and I feel like I just have to start sucker punching things, right? I mean I'm choice into it, but who do I sucker punch? I mean I feel like Breloom's more more on the attacking side. And Merkur is more on the Tailwind side, but you know I'm gonna sucker punch Breloom, and I'm just gonna icy win across the board. I'm choosing to both these moves. This might have been one of the longest battles I had in uh in Scarlet and Violet. You get and if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know me. I love a nice long drawn out battle, not like a stall battle, but like a battle like this where both opponents are swapping out, doing some long turns, all that good stuff. But he ends up Tailwinding, and I know he wants a Spore. Please don't be my tattoo. Yo, I don't like this game. <laughs> he ends up sporing me. Tatsu's asleep. One of them's going to attack, and I feel like it has got to be... Got to be the Murkrow. We're going to try to deal some damage on the Murkrow. They might not even attack. No, he's going to go for a Mach Punch. Oh, no. Tatsu, I need you waking up as soon as possible. ASAP. ASAP, Tatsu. Wake up right here. Tatsu outspeeds the Murkrow, which is good. Here comes the foul play. Real question is, can we eat up these bullet seeds? I know he's going into the bullet seed. Oh no, no way we lose this. <laughs> this battle's been back and forth. He's gonna quash me. Okay. I mean, that's fine. He's gonna bullet seed. Can he eat these up? No way. No way. <laughs> Bro, what a second battle. It, I went from thinking I was losing it to thinking I was winning it. To lose in the battle. That's unreal. One and one for today's video. Let's hop to a third. Look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys for today's video. And I feel like we are always going up against this team. Like in Rock and Tar with Don Dozo, Tatsugiri, Miasuka Rada, and Rotom He. I feel like if he's bringing Dodonzo, we have to bring our Don Dozo. So, right? Makes the most sense. It definitely makes the most sense. But I'm going to go into Palma turn one. I kind of like Palma here. We're going probably going to end up leading the, uh, the Rock Pokemon. So I could end up bleeding Arcanine here as well. I mean, Intimidate would be solid, but other than that, that's about it. So do I want to go into Palmot? I mean, not Arcanine. I mean, not Arcanine. Do I want to go into Arcanine or do I want to go into Miyasuka? I mean, Goldigo is not bad here either. I really do like Goldigo with the Steel type Terror. So I might go there because I can fake out turn one if I want to. Take off Focus Ash on Lake and Rock and set up a Nasty Pot too. Could be really good for us. So you know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to go Palma, I'm going to go Golden Go, and then Dondozo, Tatsugiri. Where do I lead Dondozo, Tatsugiri? Actually, not bad, right? Nah, we're just going to back end that. We're going to back end that. I like that. But I, if I had to guess, we're going to... We should be seeing T-Tar and Lycanroc, right? As lead. It just seems too good. I feel like that lead's really, really good. By that point, I could go... Fake out onto Lycanroc, because I don't know. Most Lycanrocs don't have the Protect, right? So yeah, there is a lead. I feel like we have to fake out the Lycanroc. Or we can fake out the T-Tar, because I think the T-Tars are assault vested a lot. And we have to stay Ghost-type. You know what? We're going to go Fake Out. Onto... Hmm. I'm going to Fake Out the Lycanroc slot. I'm going to Plot here, too. A lot of them might just double Protect here. They're going to go for Make It Rain. We're going to fake out the Lycanroc. Hopefully, we can hit the Lycanroc and take off Sash. That would be optimal. The best play. But I can also see a double protect. Because they could double protect thinking I'm going for a uh, make it ring. We'll see. We shall see. Taking a wild pick. He's going to Terra. I think he's going to Terra. Yeah. So they end up and That's usually the T-Tar, right? In the flying Terra. Yes, and then from here, I'm curious to see what it's going to do. I probably should have faked out the T-Tar, right? I know it's a Soul Facet. Okay, no, this actually works out perfectly. We fake out you. Wow, I probably should just pop to make it ring. And what's T-Tar going for? 
Good thing we outspeed the T-Tar too. T-Tar probably going for like a flying move into my Walmart, right? Just take it out. Yeah. And that works out fine. That works out fine. So that brings me down to Sash, but Buffets are also going to take me out. And I don't mind that too much. I really don't. I really do not. Because now I have a nasty plot, uh, Golden Girl ready to go. And do I go into... Who do I go into here? Like Dondoza, right? I go into Tatsu. Is Tatsu might be able to outspeed that Lycanroc, right? Lycanroc's double speed. No, you probably don't. I wish I could just like protect here. But then he can just end of me. Wow, he's gonna end he's gonna end of me. I have nobody to protect here either. I don't get any value out of this. He's gonna end of me and take out whatever Pokemon I go into here. That sucks, man. Who do I wanna die then? Probably the tattoo more than anything. Wow, dude, Endivar is gonna do me so bad. Unless I swap into Don Dozo over right here right now, but then he just Endivar's next turn. I have to like choice to like a muddy water, right? I guess I'll muddy water, and then I'm just gonna drop and make it rain. It's gotta be my play. It's gotta be my play. Wow, that is awful. That is awful if he Endivar's me. Cause we know he has it. We know he has. I, I I know pretty much what all these Pokemon rock, right? Guitar's Assault Vested with, uh, I know it has Ice Punch, Rock Slide. Might be having Crunch and then Terror Blast, right? Like Rock, I know has Close Combat, Rock Slide, End of War, and something else that I'm not 100% positive on. But I'm almost positive Like Rock doesn't really run Protect. It should, but it, I, last time I seen it, it doesn't really do that. But it does not go for an End of War, which I really, really like. No flinches, hopefully. Muddy Water's gonna fly here. Who dodged that? Who dodged that? Which one of you dodged it? Okay, that's fine, because Make It Rain's gonna be able to take this thing out. Oh, why was I thinking we were, it was End of War in us? Why was I so worried about that? I thought I had it down to Focus Ash. I only did this much damage to it. Okay, never mind. Everything worked out perfectly. Everything worked out perfectly. I don't know why. In my head, I thought I had it down to 1 HP. I was just like, oh, it's going to end of our meme. I'm done. My Don Dozo combo's over. Then I realized we only use fake out on it. <laughs> you guys are probably sitting there like, yo, what's Gene's freaking out about? Legit has this match. He has it. But he has two more Pokemon left. He has no terror. He's going into Don Dozo. We're going to have a battle. We're going to have a battle. Do I swap into my Don Dozo? I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to. Oh, this match might be long. I have rest in the chest of Barry. I wonder what he's rocking with. I do wonder. Yeah, we obviously have to swap here. I mean, it's gonna do nothing. We're just gonna muddy water. And we're gonna swap. Wow, this match, this match is gonna be long. <laughs> it's gonna be, how, who's gonna win this one? I mean, obviously we have Golden Go in the back end, but he could just freely EQ me. Catfish versus catfish here. He gets the first turn though. Kind of sucks at least, so he can he can kind of get set up here. So I'm gonna go into Don Dozo, and I I don't know how this one's gonna work. Whoever gets some more critical hits, is gonna win this match. Seems like it, right? I touch you for speed. I think his might be for an attack, which could really do me bad. EQ is gonna fly. My Tatsu dodges it. And how much damage are you doing? How much damage are you really doing? You can't be doing too much. So everyone's getting buffed. Everyone's getting buffed. And I could Terrasalize here. Do I Terra here though? I feel like I have to, right? Do as much damage as I possibly can. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Terrasalize. That thing is not leftovers, which is huge. So I'm guessing it's rest chest berry like me. We'll see. But if I can take speed, that's actually perfect because then I, I can have a, uh, I can have first turn over it. I can rest before it. I feel like this battle's gonna be long. So grab your popcorn, ladies and gents. Grab a drink, whatever you guys drink of drink of choice, and relax and enjoy the show. <laughs>
Let's see, Order Up's gonna come out here. We already outspeed, but the reason I terrored was to do as much damage as I possibly can. And we're still... Oh, that's actually really good damage. That's actually lovely damage. We're gonna Order Up as well. And, oh, that's a mistake for us. That was a mistake, Terrasalizing. I don't think we can eat up another one. I'm gonna rest here. I am gonna rest here. Wow, that, that was actually really, really bad turn from us. Really bad terrestrialization from us. I don't know why. I didn't think that went through. <laughs> I did not think that went through. So I end up resting because I know we cannot eat up another. Order up. This will allow us to get one more turn. This will allow us to get one more turn. That hurts. Order up coming out here. That's going to do more than half, right? Now, but this next one. Can we? No. Again, with Buffets, we, we're not going to be able to get up another turn here. Actually, we might. We might now, but it's plus two. It is plus two. I'm going to order up again. Send it that way. And we'll go from there. So my order up comes out here first. Can we get a crit? Give me a little bit of RNG here. Give me a little bit of luck. Some nice damage here. And I wonder what he's going for. Is he going to rest up this turn? There he goes for order up. Can you eat this up? Not those. It was soaking pretty well. Order up coming out here. I feel like they have to rest, right? It's got to be like mine. It's got to be like mine. It's got to have rest. It's not rocking leftovers. We almost KO. Now, what's it going for here? Is it resting? No, it's going for an order up. Which KOs us. That was way too close. Now, the real question is, can Tatsu outspeed? Because if my Tatsu can outspeed, I feel like we can uh, win this battle pretty pretty easily. And I'm thinking of just popping a... Do I protect here? He's got to be EQing, right? I don't think there's no point in protecting. I should hope we outspeed and KO with this Muddy Water. Which Muddy Water <laughs> might not even KO. <laughs> I'm just going to throw Shadow Ball in this slot. Go ahead, Tatsu. Outspeed. That's who does outspeed. Come on, Muddy Water. KO it. Big time KO. Tatsu Giri, baby. Tatsu Giri. Loving this Pokemon. Special attack is really high. So it really does work even without Dondozo. But Shadow Ball flies in here. Brings it down to low yellow. Special defense is now dropped. And we're just going to go into another Muddy Water and another Shadow Ball. And I think we should have this match on lock. Unlock my Tatsu Gear is gonna pick up another KO. Does not hold up. Wait a minute, he's still alive. Muddy Water flying. Golden Ghost should be able to eat this up. Both my Pokemon do, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one. Actually, our accuracy just dropped. Okay, we still landed. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A two and one winning record for you guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy today's video. A lot of content, a lot of time on the video. Again, hope you guys did enjoy. What a set of matches for today's video. Ended up going 2-1 and grabbed you guys a winning record. I love the Palmot on this team. One of my favorite Pokemons from Generation 9. Got to showcase it, doing some double shocks, doing some fake out, all that good stuff. But then you got the Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. Alongside Golden Go and Miyaskarado, which really just carry this team to making it a top tier, master tier team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.